So let's say I want to um, find out whether or not there's a difference between these two groups um, of birds, aquatic birds indicated by an A here, or terrestrial birds indicated by a T here. And what it, I'm comparing is actually the beak depth to head depth ratio. So I first need to calculate that ratio. So I'm going to take the beak depth, divide it by the head depth, and then I'm going to copy and paste this equation all the way down. So now I have my values for all of these um, individuals. One of the things that you're going to need is you have to have the analysis tools installed and you can find a link showing you how to make sure that that's installed as an add-in in Excel. But I'm going to click over here to data analysis and for this, t this test we're going to use a t-test with two sample assuming equal variances. Now normally we would test for equal variances but for our purposes here, we're just going to assume that there are equal variances and we click OK. And then what we want to do is we want to select the range. So here we're going to select this value for all of the aquatic species. You can see that I've sorted my data so that all of the aquatic species are at the top. And then in our next value comparison, we're going to choose all of the terrestrial data points. And here we're going to output it to a new worksheet. We're assuming the alpha is 0 0.05. That's the value at which we're going to um, set the significance level. And we click OK. And then we have this output to a new worksheet. And it does a bunch of calculations. So it actually gives you the mean, the average of your first variable, which was our aquatic species, and the second variable, which is the terrestrial species. It gives you the variance. And remember that the standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance, the number of observations, and a bunch of other information. But here's your t statistic that you're going to report. And then we're looking at this value here, which is the probability um, of the two-tailed test. And you can see here that this is a very, very low number. So this means that you move the decimal point to the left 12 spots. And so the test is highly, highly significant. So because the standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance, we can actually calculate the standard deviation of variable 1 and the standard deviation of variable 2 by just typing in the equation and choosing the value that we want to take the square root of. So now we know our standard deviation for variable 1 and our standard deviation for variable 2. So when I'm going to report the results of the t-test, there's a specific way we want to report this. And I've shown you here an example. We could state that the aquatic birds, and then in brackets we have the mean equals 0 0.316, which is this value here, and the standard deviation, which is this value that we calculated here, compared to the terrestrial birds, whose mean was this value here, and the standard deviation that we calculated here, had a significantly lower beak depth to head depth ratio. And then in brackets, we have that we did a t-test. We indicate the degrees of freedom. The degrees of freedom are indicated here with the df. Um, that T statistic is indicated here, which is minus 15.68 with a, a p-value of 6.1 times 10 to the negative 12, so this value here. So that should help you organize your data and do a simple t-test in Excel.